Hey, what's up guys? Tom Purcell here, Purcell's Pro Detail, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a walk around of my mobile detailing setup, which is out of my 2021 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. I have you guys looking at the tailgate here because we're going to start with the bed. All right, so not the most glamorous setup in the world, but it's simple, sweet, and gets the job done. So as you guys can see here, I have the infamous McCulloch 1385 steam cleaner. Uh, this baby has never let me down. I think this is my second one um, in the past five years. So for the price point and how cost effective it is, that's pretty good. Uh, not only that, but McCulloch has a great warranty. So after about a year or two of use, the unit would stop turning on. So I contacted McCulloch directly, told them my issue, and they rectified the issue and sent me out a brand new steamer, free of charge. So it's a little beat up. It's, uh, it's loved, but it gets the job done. No problems with it at all whatsoever. One huge thing when using these steam cleaners is make sure you use distilled water as regular tap water has calcium and minerals in it that can interfere with the way the steamer works. So if you get all those mineral buildups inside the unit, um, it can almost like crystallize hard enough. It will clog all of your hoses and all of that. So make sure you use nice clean water and you should be able to get a ton of use out of your steam cleaner. I have the Rigid Portable Vac, probably the most popular vacuum cleaner you could possibly use for mobile detailing. Got your standard hose. Got the good old Chemical Guys bucket. I got the lid on top so I can use it as a seat if I'm polishing or need to sit down for any uh, tedious work that requires a lot of bending down. Got the trusty step ladder. The Honda generator. Again, this is probably one of the more popular tools in the mobile detailing world, along with the steamer and the rigid vac, is the Honda generator. Um, it's small, it's quiet, it's compact, and it powers most of what you need to get the job done. It will run the vacuum alone and a lot of other things as well, but if you try to run the steam cleaner at the same time as the vacuum, um, it will shut off. So keep that in mind. If you do want to run multiple things at the same time, get a bigger generator. Over here in this corner, I got the fanciest milk crate you'll ever see. I have some various spray bottles along with some gallon size cleaners that I use pretty much on any car and every vehicle. In the back there, I have some car soap. I have Meguiar's Hyper Dressing right there in the front to the left. And then to the right, I have All Purpose Cleaner. Right here, the spray bottles. To the right, I have, I believe it's Meguiar's Non-Acid wheel and tire cleaner. Uh, the middle one there with the white mixture that is hyper dressing, diluted. I have Turtle Wax Seal and Shine, which is one of my go-to spray sealants. And then I have Car Pro Iron X, which is great for fallout removal, brake dust removal on wheels and paint, all that good stuff. Typically, I don't use Iron X. Uh, I usually use Meguiar's Paint and Wheel Decon. I find that it's more cost effective and the smell typically isn't as bad. Um, but I was in a pinch and Meguiar's was out, so got myself a little bottle of Iron X. Can't get the job done without one of these. Top of the line spray nozzle. Got the extension cord. As you can see back there, that little tote, or not really a little tote, it's a large tote. That is my 12 by 12 pop-up canopy. I don't really use it too much, but on the blazing hot days, or if I need some shade, or even just a little bit of cover on some light rain showers, I usually set that up and that will save the day. I know, I know, there's a brush back there. I typically don't use the brush, but sometimes if I'm doing an RV or something very large, like one of those large vans with the, um, the huge, the huge hood above the windshield, those tough to reach areas, I will use that um, only if I really need to. And um, of course, precautions are taken. You know, I, I thoroughly rinse out the brush and make sure there's no sand on it or anything. Um, but that stays back there, that's barely touched. Now, right in the back of the bed is my 65 gallon water tank. And 
And nowadays I haven't really been using the water tank a whole lot. About a year or two ago, I was doing a lot of cars at people's places of work and apartment complexes, and it came in uh, really, really good use. I have a hose coming out of a sub pump at the bottom, and I have that routed over here. And I just take that out, I can attach another hose to it, and I have pretty good pressure. I can use a regular garden hose on it and wash a car the traditional way with that sub pump. Or I can attach that to a pressure washer and use a pressure washer to wash the car. Now I know there's a lot of other pumps that other detailers use, but I had good luck with the sub pump. I got it for a good deal. and. Um, it's probably, it probably draws more power than the other little pumps that I see detailers using. But the good thing about this is that, like I said, you can just use a regular hose if you want to. I've never been a big fan of using a pressure washer. I only use it when I really think I need to. So um, garden hose pressure wise, it's, it's really good. Just run the hose out from the sub pump and then there's a cord as well that comes out the top. So I routed both over here. You can see that black cord right there. The cool thing about this truck though, is that it has an outlet right here in the back of the bed. So I can plug that cord in right there to that outlet and it will power the pump. So technically I don't really need a generator if I wanna wash a car somewhere where there's no water or power. I can just literally keep my truck on and then plug it in right there and then you're good to go. So that about wraps up the whole back of the bed here. Again, I have nothing glamorous, nothing fancy, no fancy Cox hose reels or anything like that. I truly believe in a simple lean setup. It's very efficient and uh, very profitable too. And right here, as you guys can see, this, this is key right here. I have a piece of plywood, which I could probably sell for about a thousand dollars right now with the price of lumber, but I have it painted black. And I really just have it here just for protection of the bed. I know I have the spray and bed liner, but that just gives me some extra protection when I'm constantly dragging everything in and out of the back of the truck. I like to keep everything really nice and clean and keep things in good shape. So I also spill a lot of chemicals over here. I'll take the spouts of those little pump sprayers. I'll turn them to the left and this way it's over the plywood or over that little microfiber towel I have there and just helps keep everything nice and clean and in good shape. So walking you guys over to the left side of the truck in the back seat. So this truck is the crew cab. So you have a lot of space here in the back of the truck. So right here I have the DeWalt dual action cordless polisher along with my DeWalt drill that I use for drill brushing floor mats, carpets, all that good stuff. I like keeping all my tools the same. This way you can use the same batteries. Over here in this bucket, this is pretty much my everything exterior detailing bucket. So I have a spray bottle here for clay lube. I have glass cleaner. I have rubbing alcohol for tree sap and other like substances that can be stuck to paint. Uh, right there with the red top, that's Minzerna 400 Heavy Cut. I have a Chemical Guys VSS Swirl and Scratch Remover, 3D HD Speed, and just some various other sprays and spray waxes that I use on the daily. This bag here is some fresh microfiber towels. I used to like to keep everything nice and neat and have them neatly folded, but I do so much laundry for detailing. I just throw them all in the bag and then throw them in the truck. In this little box here, I have some various ceramic coatings. I have G-Technic XO, CarPro, C Quartz 3, and I believe G-Technic Crystal Serum Light. Got some tape here to mask some things off when doing some paint corrections. A mess of towels. Have a respirator there for when applying ceramic coatings in not well ventilated areas. Got the Chemical Guys Pro Blow. It's actually pretty powerful for its size. It's great for blow drying off vehicles or uh, just getting the water out of all the nooks and crannies after you're done washing. Right here, got the Kirkland Signature Microfiber Towels. These things are awesome. They are very soft. You can get a lot of use out of them. I think they last me maybe at least a month or two, maybe even more, as long as you wash them well and don't let them sit for too long uh, before washing. But they're very, very good. I use them for the interior. I use them for the exterior. Um, sometimes I'll use them for wiping off coatings. 
I'll be sure to leave a link down below for those towels, along with a lot of these other products that I use. Uh, this way you guys can find them on Amazon and hook yourselves up. On the other side of the truck now, got some gloves, got a Meguiar's clay kit. I don't know what it is about the Meguiar's classic clay kit, but I absolutely love their clay. I love their white clay bars. To me, they, they're like the perfect combination of mild and aggressive. They don't mar the paint too much. Um, if you're looking for another clay bar to try, totally try getting the Meguiar's clay kit. They are getting harder to find as I believe Meguiar's is pushing their synthetic clay kit more these days. But if you can ever find one of those kits, definitely get your hands on it. The three bars that they give you will last a long time and they do give you a nice plush microfiber towel along with some good old clay lube. Right here is my interior detailing bucket. I usually typically keep a lot of different brushes in here along with some steam cleaner attachments. Um, I have distilled water for the steam cleaner, some glass cleaner, and again, just a, a whole bunch of brushes. Got the floor mats there, the uh, disposable floor mats, which are great for a final touch when you're done with the vehicle. Uh, this DeWalt bag came with the DeWalt drill that I showed you guys before. I typically keep a bunch of extra batteries in there. Got a stray pad just chilling right there. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's my mobile detailing setup. I've had various other setups before in other vehicles. Uh, believe it or not, I actually started my business out of a 2014 Chevy Cruze. I would put the seats down and I would just load up the trunk in the back seat with pretty much everything that you'd see here. And yeah, from there I've upsized to a little Chevy S10 and then had the uh, 2018 Silverado. And now we are working out of the 2021 Trail Boss. I hope this gives you guys a different perspective on a mobile detailing setup. I know a lot of guys on YouTube have vans and trailers and whatnot, but if you are working out of a pickup truck, you can totally make it work. There's nothing wrong with working out of a truck. At one point, I even had a smaller pickup truck, a little Chevy S10, and I had a bed cap on it. Uh, this way I can you know, load up more equipment and whatnot. But I had all that extra room and all it made me want to do is just carry more stuff. More stuff that I don't need. So I remember when I had that setup with the bed cap and I had all this extra room in the back of the truck, I would pack two vacuums just for the hell of it. I had so many polishers and I had eight waxes and, and five compounds and 10 polishes. And I, I just, I brought everything with me, five hoses, 10 extension cords. Now I'm exaggerating, but when you keep it simple like this and you know what works to get the job done, you'll become more efficient. And efficiency is the most important thing when it comes to mobile detailing. You can't be guessing and playing the guessing game, trying to see which wax will work in the sun, you know, which wax will work on this paint, which which compound will work on this paint and, and remove the defects that you want and give you the results that you want. You need to find what works for you and just gets the job done more efficiently and more quickly because as mobile detailers, we are a business and the whole point of a business is to be profitable. So take out the guessing, keep it simple, and I promise you will become more efficient with yourself and more efficient in getting the job done. Again, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all about any of the products or chemicals, cleaners that I use, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer and uh, give you guys some links as well to some of the products that I like to use and also some of my favorite products that may or may not be shown in this setup. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.